Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Renita Young here to take you through today's market action. So let's take a look at where markets closed to end on Tuesday. The markets ended mixed today with the S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100 both closing less than half a percent higher. The small cap Russell 2000 and the Dow both ended lower. Taking a look at the leading and lagging sectors on the day, seven of the 11 S&P 500 sectors ended higher with consumer staples and communication services both up by around 1%. To the downside, real estate and consumer discretionary were the biggest laggards. Looking at some stocks on the move, 3M was the worst performer in the S&P 500 today, falling 11% after issuing a soft 2024 outlook despite earnings that beat estimates. Shares underperformed the S&P 500 last year and are now down around 21% over the past 12 months. United Airlines shares rose more than 5% today after an earnings and revenue beat. Now, although growth slowed for the third consecutive quarter, the company lost less money than it expected to lose. United attributes its strong quarter to higher premium and basic economy seating. And Netflix and TKO both traded higher today. TKO jumped more than 15% after revealing its $5 billion deal for Netflix to be the exclusive streamer for WWE's Raw. TKO is the parent company of WWE. And the deal brings together a longtime fan favorite show with the top global streaming platform and a celebrity who has deep history in both. Netflix shares also ended higher and continued trading higher after the close as it posted fourth quarter results that showed a spike in subscribers. Let's look at what to watch for tomorrow. In data, we'll see PMI composite flash at 9.45 a.m. Eastern. Then for earnings pre-market, we'll hear from AT&T and General Dynamics, followed by Tesla, IBM, ServiceNow, Las Vegas Sands, and LAM Research post-market. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Renita Young, and remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.